So we're here we go well, back anyway, to Amy describing. This is one night uh, I could not sleep, and she's wrapped, wrapped in a blanket, and she's thinking about everything in the world, all the troubles and the things you go through emotionally and so forth. Physically. That's what this is about. Now, this was later in my life, this one. Maybe let him focus it and you could oh, talk about oh, it. there. Yeah, could you see it, Amy? Yeah, I can't see it because I'm uh, Okay, come up here, dear. I'm um, sorry. Pardon this me. one is uh, a woman in a shell. Um, this is where I, how I felt uh, after my husband died. I was sort of enclosed mm -hmm. in, in this shell. Okay, so... Now, that's carved the same way. That's alabaster, and this one was Tuckahoe marble. Tuckahoe. And where's, where's Tuckahoe? Tuckahoe is up in uh, Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut, okay. And now, then, uh, you have can some... Can go to another? Yeah, you have the cute ones, too. Oh, can they see that? Uh, well, you could hold it up, maybe just... Oh, he, well, I can hold this. Okay. See, so Amy's going to hold it. This way you folks at home could get a better... This. this is one up. of the uh, beginning of my s sculpture. Yeah, come this to you, is down. a possum with three little possums on top. And this is the property of Polly Klein and Sid Klein. They had bought it very early when I was first working. I did a lot of things that were very realistic. Then, oh, okay. Okay. Now so, this is also a little later, just a little later. This is also belongs to Carl Fortes, who's a very fine painter. He, he, he has this one, and these are my own glazes, and I did a couple of fish. Tony Robinson, Gertie Robinson's son, owns one of mine. He bought it, and um, Ann Koch has a bigger one. Howard Koch is wife. May, may I ask you, uh, Amy, what type of material is that? What? Well, what, what's the oh, material? This is clay. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. I have to show the clay tool so you know we don't get mixed up. Okay. The different methods. These are the clay tools. By the way, a, a very prominent artist by the name of Carl Waters made these tools for me. And they're all handmade tools. And this is what you work with in clay, with a sponge and some water or whatever. Sometimes I got dentist tools that work. They're <laughs> wonderful to work with. Yeah. That is that. I just want to give you a slight idea of the different techniques. Now, uh, yeah, I got that, it. can we zoom over to the wood? This is a, a wood cup. It's called the Kiss. And this is more recent. And this is my hammer for this. And here are the wood carving tools. You see, there are different tools for each thing. And these are tools that are curved in the center. And you, you yep. use one like this. And you, the same rhythm goes on as you well, use it. Okay. Oh, you can't? OK. Thank you. I'm going to do that. Sorry. Oh. Give me the mic. You can't understand what you're saying. Turn the one over here. This one? Hello? So those are the wood carving tools. and. Uh, okay. This is a, this is an ebony. You have to take the microphone with you. What is it? This one or this one? What is it? You have to take this with you. Oh, this one. Oh. You couldn't they hear any of that? Oh. This is an ebony. It's a black wood. And that's red wood, I forgot to say. Now that's very nice from both angles, all angles. If I turn it around, I don't know what happened to the turn thing. Uh, that's the other side of this piece. And it has a rhythm. And I leave it to your own imagination what it's about. Now this I did after my husband died. And this is called Sorrow, the ebony piece. I wonder if you could take this away. then. Then I could put this there, all right? You might leave the base because you're getting away from this. No, take that. Then we put yeah, this. Let me do that. Yeah, we'll put, I'm going very quickly because we don't have much time. Okay, let me uh, just tell the audience, excuse us while we rearrange 
you know, this is part of the territory. So. <laughs> okay. So this is my bird. This comes from Ann Leonard okay, Gallery. Don't turn around too much because the camera will get focused. No. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. see, it gets the light from there. Ann Leonard's Gallery. We took that out. It is an Ann Leonard's Gallery. I forgot to say that I've been with her since she started here, which is about 25 years. And then I was with, with Mr. Kendi in New York, the SAG Gallery, Selected Artist Gallery, on Madison Avenue. And I was with him for years and years. Before that, I was at the Krasner Gallery. And then I was with uh, uh, Margaret Lohengrin, Contemporary Gallery in New York, uh, that is Linda Sweeney's mother, and uh, she was, uh, Linda Sweeney, of course, is a ju Judge Sweeney here. Linda and Kevin also have a piece of mine. Now, I'll go to this Mexican piece. That's right. Take your time, Amy, explain. we got time. We have time? Well, I'm hurrying so you can get something in. No, no. Uh, this, this is uh, a piece I did in Mexico. We haven't got it on the turnstile. Well, anyway, you turn around, and it's full of life. It's what happens in Mexico, the, the, the birth motive, the everything going on, the fallen down churches. That's it. Thank you. Anything for you. And the fallen down church, uh, the symbols, the sun, the dancing, everything wonderful down there. Marvelous place to live in San Miguel Allende. Amy, is it, is, it, uh, is it possible, could you turn it around slowly for the folks at home could see well, it? It's, it's just sort of, you know. Yeah, just take your time. There we go. It goes around. Um, and this, of course, is a most re uh, more recent sculpture because it's, it's welded. Uh, and I worked with those at Kest Kestenbaum for about 15 years in, in San Miguel Allende. And this, of course, was the last piece. No, there's another piece, but yeah. I only have a photograph of it. Um, okay, I'll hold this for you. Oh, well, this piece is uh, one of the last pieces I did. I was welding. And this is all welded. You see, there's a woman, a Mexican woman, taking two pigs to market. And it's all welded with a set one. Out of little pieces. Did we cover Let everything? Let me just turn this around for the folks. Oh, no. oh that's okay. sideways. Well, just leave it, Amy. I got it. Yeah. Okay. Sideways. Okay. Okay, I don't know. If you're, well, anyway. Did we do that piece over on the chair? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Just oh, you got to hold it, put it. <clears throat> uh, this is a piece I did very early. That was a figure at the Big Deep where we all used to go s swimming in Woodstock. And before people, everybody got rich and had swimming pools and things. And. Uh, uh, most of us would just lie on the rocks there. And I don't know whether you can see it properly, but... Okay. I guess that's it. Uh, that's what I brought. Okay. Then there are many others that, of course, I have photographs of. Here, but I don't know if we have time. It's up to you, dear. Okay. Okay. Did we do them up? Oh, that's our uh, Dr. John House down there. That, uh, uh, it belongs to Dr. Janow. Now, which one are you talking about, Amy? This is clay. Yes. Oh, okay. the, the, I did the that block. after my oh. husband died, the feeling that I had about us. And uh, the other one, the sorrow, the wood, I also did. I did it quite a few in about two years later of my feeling about it. So there we are. Okay. So yeah. that's everything. He brought that up from New York. That's nice all the way around. Uh, so these are Amy's sculptures. She has photographs also, don't you, Amy? Yes, I do. Would you like to bring them up? Well, have we time? Or you want to do something? I have uh, oh, okay. by the way, I want to say that, we have time. that I'm in this book. By, uh, I'm in quite a few books now. Uh, by okay. Joe uh, Campbell, The Fire in the Mind. You probably heard about him. He worked with Rhonda Robinson when they were doing the book that's used in you know, most colleges on Ulysses to explain 
the different terms and so forth. Also, he was an editor of Reader's Digest, and his son Tony is now a writer and published several books. And that's Joe Campbell's book, The, Power, the Fire of the Mind. He also uh, did another one. Uh, this was written by the Lawsons, because Joe died about a year or so ago, two years, I guess it is now. And uh, he wrote The Power of the Myth, which, of course, was on Ed Moyer's program in New York. Mm. So, uh, Amy, uh, so I see that uh, perhaps, uh, so that perhaps that uh, you'll be uh, sculpting again, or, uh, Amy? What? Am I going to do sculpture again? Yeah. Well, I've been rather handicapped with my hands, oh, okay. and uh, they're strengthening up now, and perhaps by the beginning of the summer, I will start out sure. doing some sort yeah. of sculpture. I'm, I'm fixing this uh, nomadic tool at my house that I use on, on my stone, and uh, so we're, we're, we're going to be making dust together, hopefully, or if not, at least in spirit. So, Amy, uh, you have some photos here. May I hold them, please? Oh, you want to hold them Yes, up? and oh, you could describe now them. Now in line. Okay, and dear. And here are the wood carvings here. Okay, these are wood. So let me do this, Go and on. you explain them, okay? Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. I don't know if Randy could get that. That's that. old. That's a wood carving. I forget who bought that. <clears throat> and it's just a, a woman. It's called Isis. Isis. That's right. Oh. Is, is that a goddess name? Oh, uh, yes. A goddess. Oh, here. Okay. There's another one I want to show. Wood carving. Don't have to show the other side of this. Uh, this, you want to hold this one up? Okay. This is a, a one that Mr. and Mrs. Belmont Tobin and Woodstock own in New York. They have several of my pieces. Okay. They also have several Jim Turnbulls, and he was a terrific mobile sculptor. He did some beautiful things. And they were very good friends of mine. And uh, I'm trying to put this in sequence so you get the feeling of what my sculpture is about. This one is one I did, which is in East Hampton. It's in Vermont Marble, and it's, it's uh, a mother and child, and it's down there. And uh, this is the let, Lovers, let that's owned by let, Evan. Let me hold this it's for the It's called The Kiss. Excuse me. This one uh, is a cute story. When Evan shows it to people, he said it's a brand koozie. Because Brancusi, I never knew, had done one similar to this, and it's in the Museum of Modern Art, and mine was done years before. Hmm. Years yeah. before. Yeah. So this is another one that is owned uh, by uh, Dr. Janow. Okay. Yeah. What is that again? Uh, that's rest. I call that a re resting finger. So what's figure. taking place in this that's picture? Pink would you tell alabaster. Me? What? Would you tell me? Could you explain to the folks at home what is taking place in the photograph? Well, she's resting, and her hair is flowing over. So, you know, so this, is a, this is her hair, folks. There's the hair is flowing over okay. there. And this is her uh, arm. Uh, that's resting. And this is her face and her eye. Now, uh, this one is, uh, I call it figures. And this one is done in limestone. And this is a very tremendous figure down there. It's about this big around. It's very large. And uh, the bird is, in, is hugging the, the female figure. And you can, Incredible. your own emotions when you look at that. I won't explain it. Uh, how about this other side, Amy? Uh, oh, yes. You want to show the other side? Yes, I would. Are you bored yet? Well, anyway, here goes another one. This overlooks my pool. She has a, if, if a I could quarry. Just, yeah, it's a quarry. A natural quarry. Yes, that's. That's down there. And that's called triangle. The two male heads and the female head in the center. How about the second picture behind it, Amy? Oh, yes, that's the back. Okay, this is the back side. That's folks. the flowing, always the hair rep of uh, the woman represents, you know, the flow of the life. The flow of life. Absolutely. Right. This is owned by Evan Frankel. Was owned by Evan Frankel. Can I hold up the other side to yeah. save you the trouble? Uh -huh. All right. That is limestone, everybody. 
On the other side, I have a turtle emerging from a shell, and that was done a oh, long time ago, and that's the James Paley owns that in New York, in East Hampton. <coughs> then this uh, is kind of interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is a picture of, was it the violin? Yes, the violin. Oh, yes. I was listening to a piece of music, and if you follow the rhythm around the stone, it sort of gives you a feeling. If we could move the camera just a little bit this way. That, uh, this is one that is owned by Anne Leonard's sister, Nat oh. Natalie. That's, she has the gallery in Woodstock on Tinker Street. I've been with her for a long time. Now, this is a Jacob, a Jacob in, being pigeon, and uh, I went to the, uh, the Museum of Natural History in New York uh, for months and studied the way birds go into the air, the skeletons and the grafts and all of that. He's the father of all the pigeons, practically, in the world. He had a ruffle and the beak is sticking out. And... Uh, that's that one. That is t that's a Tuckahoe marble also. A lot of mine are Tuckahoe marble because I lived up in that neighborhood. That neck of the world, huh? Now, uh, do you want to hold it up? Yeah. That is uh, a knight on a horse. And for that, I also went to the Museum of Natural History. Those were done when I lived in New York and studied knights and horses, skeletons, and everything. Then I call them line drawings because I eliminated almost everything but what was necessary and what I thought was necessary. And they're done in metal at the studio of Mario Piccitelli in New York, and the Dodge people bought that one. Okay. All right? That's done in metal rods. Of course, I don't have the equipment anymore. This is the way birds go into flight. And that's done from graphs. Oh, what is this? Uh, what type of metal? Uh, oh, all kinds. Metal rods. Oh, some okay. are bronze metal, some are different steel. Yeah, I, I didn't actually mean the, it's the type of material. It's welded. It's welded. Okay, for the this is all welded. Okay. This is with a torch, a small torch. That's made like jewelry, the knight. Okay. But the others are welded. Uh, this is, this one is, uh, I'm showing this because I'm working on a big piece there. And that's done with a torch, with an acetylene torch. Hmm. And I'm welding the pieces together. Uh, this one you can explain if you want. You know, I told you about that. I know, I'd rather that you do, you do better than me. No. Okay. Oh, you want me to? Yeah, you explain. Oh, if you don't. well, this, during the, uh, after the World War against Germany, uh, I got a letter asking me to do a Marquette and send it to the Museum of Modern Art, which I did. And many other people, sculptors in New York, were given a year I have drawings at home and so forth to do it. And we sent in our marquettes, right. and they put them all in a back room or something. And uh, they didn't show them to the public or just a private group of people who judged it. Oh, OK. And we were all furious. I got uh, the New York Times wrote me up, all the art magazines and everything. It was a big fuss. Uh, did you guys uh, sort of went and, and, and protested what they oh, had done? Oh, we all done? protested. Okay. A lot of art, and so most of the art associations in New York. Yeah. And there was a lot written in the papers about it. Regarding that. And Rhett Butler, Butler war, won the prize. Okay. And he was presented in London, his sculpture, and uh, an irate uh, Holocaust victim picked it up and threw it on the floor the day of the opening oh, they, of the they exhibition. It, huh? So we weren't far from wrong, I don't think, thinking that you could represent the Holocaust by a little twisted piece of metal. Right. Now, here's one of the last okay. things I did. And uh, that was an acetylene. Now, that's the way I thought Mars would look. 
And strange as it may seem, a magazine, um, Time magazine, came out about a month ago, or two months ago. I tried to find it, but I couldn't. But somebody may have it. If they do, I want it. And it's exact the way they say it looks, only that it, that it was a painting, and it was painted red. And it was exactly the same shape. On the back of this, I had an airplane propeller. I did this in Mexico. And uh, I shipped it home, and it got lost in the shipping. And finally, uh, David Nash or Park Burnett found it after two years. <coughs> and it was in pieces. Mm -hmm. It's got to be put back together again. I worked very hard on that. It was a very hard job. OK, I'm just letting the folks at home take another Quite large. picture. This, okay. uh, this is a. A uh, piece of field stone, very hard stone, local. And I saw one line, the one dark line in it. And I said, well, that looks like a swimming figure. And I carved that. It was very hard to carve. Oh. And it's uh, very simple, and it's a polywog. Well, polywogs, everybody thinks, drop their tails off. They don't. They absorb their tails. Oh, they absorb them? Oh, you mean they? Oh, that's like a myth. That's it. Sort of. Okay. Oh, that's, that's cute. So, that's this is it. <laughs> wow. It, was that stone, may I ask you, uh, was that stone like a, uh, like uh, granite? You know, which is yes. supposedly a very brown. hard. Oh. Very okay. hard. Oh, that's incredible. It's a brown st as a stone, and it swims down Evan Frankel's swimming pool, and the, underneath the, uh, the waterfall oh, the is coming into his pool, and all the Raoul Hags around it. So oh, he has a Henry Moore, I forgot also. to say, at the entrance oh, okay. to his swimming pool. Right. He has many, many sculptors. He, was, he fell in love with sculpture. Okay. Uh, uh, that's very interesting. I mean, that history. I mean, folks, uh, we could continue and continue, you know. Oops. I mean, this woman, I mean, has lived a very full life. And I know from, uh, and honestly speaking, you know, it's that uh, she has enriched my life for the short uh, span of time that uh, I have known her, you know. And uh, I, I was, my, you know, I was thinking when I first met her, I said, now, that's how I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> That's a wonderful thing to say. And so, and so anyway. Um, well, I know, have my faults. All people have their faults. Uh, hey, so, but at least, you know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you ain't spinning your wheels. In the meanwhile, thinking about it, you know, this gorgeous, gorgeous work. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, um, we are almost about, about that time, the uh, hands on the wall say. So the thing is that we have all these sculptures and uh, gorgeous artwork and the presence of the, uh, the sculptor, Amy Small. And uh, uh, perhaps, yeah, Randy is, is scanning the pieces before we sort of wrap, uh, wrap this up. So first of all, um, I like to say, folks, that uh, thank you for letting us into your living room and uh, also, um, this work could be seen, some of this work, like this stone here, and another sculpture that uh, Amy had uh, made, could be seen at the Anne Leonard Gallery. That's next door to the Tinker Cafe. And uh, there's, uh, there's a lot of sculptures in there, but uh, I'm sure once you've seen Amy Small's sculpture, she has her own particular texture and flavor and her style, it is definitely uh, gorgeous, moving, and uh, refreshing, you know, and uh, time well spent, I would say, you know, and she's such a precious human being, she, she is my dear friend, you know, and uh, we talk quite often, and I have been to her place and look at this beautiful uh, quarry that she had brought, you know, mentioned and so on like this. So, um, by the way, we built that quarry. That oh, was oh you had hole. built that? Okay. Okay, you and your husband. My, uh, my husband, myself, and Adolf Heckeroth. Oh, okay. We built the quarry. You knew, uh, before I just wrap this up, folks, even though it's about a quarter to the bewitching hour of six, um, I like to ask Amy, what the heck was I going to ask you, Amy? I, I just, don't know. I just. Were you going to ask me anything about Joe Campbell or something? Uh, I, well, we're close. You knew Eleanor Roosevelt, didn't you? Oh, yes. 
Okay. Oh, of course I knew Eleanor. She used to be a guest at Tom P and uh, Elizabeth Penning. Okay. And by the way, Tom was a terrific uh, sculptor who influenced Harvey Fight. Harvey learned a lot from oh, Tom from Penning. Him. Okay. And, I never uh, heard that. That's uh, his name forty. Oh, okay. Oh, but he's the influence uh, for uh, Harry Fine. Well, we never talked about our Maverick festivals, all that went on there or anything. Oh, we'll okay. have to do it another time. We certainly will, folks, and uh, so you can bet that. Uh, I have many stories of Woodstock. I have over yeah. 50 years of history of Woodstock. This, this lady right here has, uh, has, I mean, experienced things that I know that in my own particular life would have been great, you know, to know a lot of these people who were just into life, you know, and uh, but uh, then I really didn't miss nothing because simply because I've met Amy, and uh, <laughs> so that in itself the the end justifies the means, and so so folks, um, it's I'd like to thank my very special guest sculptor Amy Small for bringing her lovely sculptors here and bringing most of all her lovely self, and Amy, thank I thank you. you, my dear. Thank you. And, and uh, I wish you luck. Okay. Oh, thank you. I know you're going to California soon. Yeah, I'm just going for a month. couple of weeks. Now. Ishmael is a wonderful, sensitive, very uh, fine man. And uh, we're lucky to have him in Woodstock, let me tell you, because he represents the younger generation, and they're growing and they're doing something. I thought Woodstock was dying out uh, okay. ever since the California... California uh, tribe came on, Fletcher Martin, yes. Ed Chavez, all these people uh, who were very talented. And we had wonderful parties. We did marvelous things. Yes. Now I hope the same thing is going to happen here. Well, I, I've noticed in town that there's a lot of new dedica uh, dedicated blood, like uh, Heidi, who's a sculptor, and uh, like Joe Fig. Uh, and also in two weeks, I'll have my some of my sculpture at the James Cox Gallery, uh, and I guess it'd probably be out in the uh, paper or something like this, or what, however they PR it, you know. So hopefully that's you folks out there, if you have time, uh, come to the James Cox Gallery, and also go, as I had mentioned, to the Ann Leonard Gallery, where there are other sculptures also, but also Amy Small sculpture can be seen. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, uh, th I'm your host, Ismael Rodriguez, this is Art from the Heart, and I'll be on Saturday from 2 to 3.